This is Dr. Anina Abraham from Advanced Retina Care Hyderabad. Today we're going to discuss diabetic retinopathy screening. It's very common for patients to take packages for diabetes screening. They think they can test their blood, test their heart, kidneys, eyes, everything together in a package. This video is meant to discourage you from doing that because diabetologists and these screening centers have this machine available to take pictures of the retina and mostly this is done in an undilated pupil. I want to show you what this machine can actually screen and what it cannot. So this is not a screening tool, it is just a picture which can be taken off the retina through this machine. So when Google says AI has revolutionized diabetic retinopathy screening and now you can prevent blindness just by their machines and by AI technology, let me tell you it is absolutely false. You need clinical examination, you need to go to a retina specialist and the reason why I'm saying that is because of the few cases which I'm going to present right now. What you can see with a fundus camera is just the central 30 degrees of the retina. So maybe your picture will be able to show a normal healthy retina in the central part, which is this part. So what you can see in this picture is about what you get from a fundus camera. However, you must remember that the retina is the entire portion behind the eye the nerve at the back of the eye. And this is a picture, a montage picture of almost the entire retina. Again, we don't see the very far periphery of the retina in this picture. It just shows you how much you can actually see with that fundus camera. What you can see with the fundus camera is only this part in both the eyes, which includes the disc and the macula and probably a little bit of vasculature. All your changes of diabetic retinopathy can occur outside this zone, which cannot be picked up by a regular fundus camera. This requires wide field fundus photography. And again, if subtle changes can still be missed. Now, if you look at this picture, there are some changes here, some yellow spots here, and your AI tool would have told you that these yellow spots are hard exudates seen in diabetic retinopathy. And your AI tool tells you that this is diabetic retinopathy and you need to get treated. Whereas if you look at this picture, there are yellow spots here, but these are drusen. Drusen happen in macular degeneration and not in diabetic retinopathy. Your AI tool is able to pick up these yellow lesions, but they cannot discover the depth of the lesion and whether they are drusen or whether they are hard exudates. Again, this uh, thorough clinical examination is what is required to diagnose this. Now again here, the fundus camera picks up the central portion of the retina and your doctor may tell you everything is fine. Your diabetologist may tell you because these kind of machines are normally put in diabetic centers where they do the screening for, retina, for retinopathy for all diabetic patients. And they may tell you it's absolutely normal. Whereas if you have seen the periphery of the retina, as in this picture, there are blood vessels growing very, very rampantly in this part. So I would say these, this is extreme neovascularization elsewhere which has happened because blood flow is totally compromised. These are the patients which end up with vitreous hemorrhage. These are the patients which have terrible bleeding inside the eye followed by retinal detachment. So you have actually missed a very advanced case of diabetic retinopathy. And all because you trusted that single camera which has taken a picture in an undilated pupil. Without even putting drops, when you are estimating, yes, your camera man will tell you that you, you're able to get a fantastic view of the retina, 
by not even dilating. You miss out a lot of the periphery of the retina. You miss out these kind of changes. Sometimes even ophthalmologists miss these changes. You need to go to a diabetic retina specialist, not a diabetologist for such screening. So all I would say is, yes, in villages, it is possible to do this kind of screening with uh, uh, fundus camera tools but it's for mass screening purposes and it should not be used to actually determine whether you have diabetic retinopathy or not. I recommend once a year every diabetic, diabetic patient goes to a retina specialist for a complete dilated retina examination. Rule out diabetic retinopathy and prevent blindness. You cannot prevent blindness by AI tools. You cannot treat blindness by AI tools. You do it by a good clinical examination. 